also of course you know, that in Fast and Furious 7 there is a pretty unrealistic scene. Yes, I'm talking about the one with the flying cars. All of the cars are similar with their aerodynamic physics, but I'll go with Vin Diesel's Dodge Charger. What I'm going to be discovering is how hard they crash. No, the parachutes could not withstand the force I'm about to calculate. The first step is to find out how fast they fall. After some research, I discovered that they were dropped from over 2,000 feet, thus requiring terminal velocity. This isn't the first time I've calculated terminal velocity. If you don't know what it is, it's basically the falling speed at which you can't continue to accelerate. When falling, you speed up more and more and more, but eventually, the wind hitting you from below will slow you down so much that you won't go any faster. There is an equation for this, and this is it. First, I'll need to know how heavy Vin Diesel and his car are. This Dodge Charger is around 4.3 thousand pounds, but adding Vin Diesel's weight, the other things in the car, and the insane modifications, makes it 4.6 thousand pounds. Converting it to kilograms gives us the mass, and now I found variable 1. The number for gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared. That's how fast you accelerate downward. The density of air is usually close to 1.2 kilograms per cubic meter. To find the frontal area of the car, we need its width and its height. Using estimations and filling in the formula makes the frontal area of Vince's car about 1.41 meters squared. The drag coefficient is basically how much resistance something will have based on its shape. In this car's case, the number 0.34 fits. Doing the math, the maximum speed Vin Diesel's car can possibly fall at is 266.53 meters per second. Imagine crashing that thing into the ground. No, don't bother imagining. I'm about to breeze through this calculation. We've already established the mass and velocity, and now estimating the crash distance, we have the force. The force hitting Vin Diesel when he rams into the ground is 37,295,076.47 newtons. If that makes no sense, that's over 8 million pounds. Crushing, Vin. Diesel. Alright, I forgot about the parachutes, but no need to worry, I won't get into the calculation right now, but those weak things would be instantaneously shorn from their strings the second they get deployed. The military drops tanks from planes, but the parachutes are enacted nearly instantly. The least that the parachutes could do is slow him down a bit, but not before he has already re-reached terminal velocity. Recap time. Vin Diesel would be obliterated by the ground going 266.53 meters per second. The ground would crush him with about 8.3 million pounds, give or take. That same force needs to be withstood by the parachutes, so it's doubtful that those will help. Please like, comment and subscribe.